So in today's video, we're going to talk about the brand new Marshall that was just added to Cold War as well as Warzone. Um, and it's relatively easy to unlock. I have max leveled it, so I can go ahead and kind of walk through the attachments. There aren't a lot of them. So if you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button if you're brand new, want to find your way back. Double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. So when it comes to the challenge, it's actually pretty straightforward. All you have to do to unlock the Marshall is to get one headshot in 15 different matches using a pistol. And you can use whatever pistol you want. In my case, I use the Diamati. Um, you could use the Amp, you could use the Psychob. And then um, if you're just gonna do it in Warzone because maybe you don't have the multiplayer for Cold War, all you gotta do is go into Plunder, maybe throw a stun at somebody, line up the kill, get an easy headshot, down them, and then you get the headshot, you can leave the match. That's one method to do it. Um, the other way is you can go ahead and just stay on the plane and try and go after the AFKs, but generally that gets really competitive when there are challenges like this going on. So there might be like seven people at that doing the challenge and they're using red guns. They're not even trying to do the challenge, they're just trying to farm KD or something like that. So that's the, another way you could go. The other is you can actually just go to Cold War, play 6v6 face off, and then just go through the matches. Those go relatively quick. If you do TDM and DOM and try to triple cap or let your team get triple capped, um, KC is probably the one that'll last the longest. So you just go through that, get all 15 matches done, and then you'll unlock it. The other way is just go in the store, 1100 COD points, you get it unlocked, and it kind of has a build that will work, but obviously within Warzone, you can't modify the attachments, and you will not have dual will. I was able to test it out in a private match. I wanted to go ahead and see kind of how it played, uh, and one of the biggest drawbacks with this weapon is it does not have a one-shot kill potential. It just doesn't have it. Uh, maybe with stopping power, if you can equip it, I even try it. I don't think this is gonna be something people use. What I did is I looked at my damage beforehand, I went point blank, and a lot of times in, in these private custom whatever matches, these guys do not have full health. They don't have full plates, and you were not getting one shot. Um, unless they just didn't have any plates at all. So I went through and I, and I did this for the base version without the, the see right here, doesn't, does not get a one shot kill. It's kind of ridiculous. So you kind of go through, I did that for the base version. I also did the same thing for the uh, Dragon's Breath rounds to see if there was any difference and it didn't allow you to one shot. I tried at different various ranges. Um, the big difference is it's gonna lower your damage when you do that, but you get a little bit of fire damage. But if anyone's running EOD, it's basically not gonna hurt them the same way. And then you might also get into situations where maybe you would have done enough damage to kill them, and maybe you even do, but because there's a little bit of a delay in that damage kicking in, you will not be able to, uh, you're gonna end up getting downed in the process. So it's more of a gimmicky gun. It's generally gonna take the two shots to kill. Um, if you do put it into a Kimbo, which we can see right here, the, the, the range on it isn't particularly good. The hip fire spread, you don't have a way to tighten it like a five milliwatt or a no stock from like Modern Warfare. You don't have any of those types of attachments. Also wanted to point out that it uses shotgun ammo. You can see the ammo type right here uh, below the below the two dash two or slash two. Next to the eight, I even dropped the ammo, double check. It does use shotgun ammo and this spread is pretty, pretty bad. So I try to get point blank just so I can test to see how that feels. And you still do not get one shot kills. If you put both at the same time, you can get a one shot kill because they do approximately like 140, 150 damage at the closest damage range. Um, it's really hard to test shotguns without a controlled environment where you have in a private match. And I don't have a, a way to set up a private match with one person. It just doesn't work that way. So I went through the standardized testing the way I would normally. And the TTK is gonna be stupid fast, right? Cause you just go boom, it's gonna be instantaneous because both bullets are gonna register at the same time or both pellet shells are gonna register at the same time. So it'll be a zero TTK or you're probably gonna die if you do not get that zero TTK. So it's kind of one of those things that I don't think it's gonna be all that popular. I think it's a cool gimmicky thing. Um, the range isn't all that great. Um, and you are very penalized pretty hard if you do not get it because the reload on this thing is really slow. You don't have a way to extend the mag. You don't have a way to faster reload. So is it broken? Yes, in the sense that if you run up against somebody holding a corner, you walk in on them and they pull both triggers at the same time, you're dead. There's no counter. Um, but if they manage to miss slightly and you survive, they die. There's no counter. Like that's that's the the double-edged sword of this weapon. Um, and I thought I'd show that off. 
Is it worth unlocking? If you want to go for it, if you want to go for dark matter or dark ether, all that stuff, cool. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how you'd build this gun out. So like I said, I've already max leveled it just by playing Cold War. Uh, right here we have the barrel. Uh, you have the extended, which will do just better bullet velocity. Um, and then we also have the effective damage range and bullet velocity. So you kind of got to go with that. Like I said, it's going to be a marginal difference, whatever it is. It's just too hard to test without a controlled setting. The ammunition, I don't even think Dragon's Breath is worth it. You're going to get an incendiary damage, but it's going to do less damage on the initial hit, which you want to be able to kill them. So it doesn't make as much sense. So you'd either go that route like that. Um, and if you want just to go a single, which is going to be very unforgiving, you could even put an optic on there. I don't think that really is a way to go. Go dual wield, point blank, barrel stuff, and use it like a normal shotgun that it is shotgun ammo, even though it is in the pistol category. I guess it could be that secondary you kind of mess with. Hold a corner, but beyond about 8 meters, it, 9 meters, you're just not really going to be able to kill that many people. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit the like button. Brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.